eyes. It's me, semen, Ted, and I'm back. I'm back with another video. And if you're in here, you're good to go. I guess we're just gonna do it like this. We're gonna do it like this. Bitch can't do it like this. Huh? Oh no, golden corn, but I want no flour in this. Yellow cornmeal. All purpose flour. I ain't never heard of no flour in no cornbread. What? What the white? Self-rising. White lily. Yeah, this was like slave flower, don't it? Happy Thanksgiving. Hey, Andrew. Okay, before we start this for real, we got to get our drink on real quick. Hold on. So I got my mixer. This bird ready too. Got my meat. Oh, got some leftover from some ice water, melted ice water. So what we're gonna do, okay? Is we're gonna go and get into we're gonna go dip in that oh uh baby boys, okay, Virginia black American whiskey real quick, okay. We're gonna dip into it real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six. Still go. <laughs> We're gonna go into my Pinot Noir. Ooh, 19 crimes, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, 11, 12, okay? Um, We're gonna go get the agave. Oh, it was right in my face. The entire time. One, two, three, four. Okay. We're gonna hit the agave up. Damn, where is. Ooh. Ooh. My Megan the Stallion boy. Ooh. Okay. We're going to get us some lime juice. We're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, because I like all my stuff tart. Okay. Okay. And then, and then, we're going to get us some Tabasco. Okay. And you got to be careful because when you mess around with five, I mean, eight instead of five. You messed up, we ain't gonna do that because I didn't mess my throat up from earlier. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's six, damn it. Okay, we did five, six. Okay. Damn. Bitch, where's my juice? Where's my girl? Where's my girl? Where's my girl? We're gonna get us some cranberry juice, 100% ocean spray cranberry juice. Ski ski, okay. Ooh. Ooh, child. Baby. Baby. Ooh. Ooh, baby. Okay. Then we're gonna go two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we get us a good size. Boom. Right. I can't put it in the refrigerator right now. You know how it be on the holiday. Give me crushed ice. Who did this? Now, it got to be production. That sounds like doodle boy in the corner. They're like, bleep, 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 
Gotcha. We thought it would work. Um, and then we're gonna do this and we're gonna shake. Shake, shake, shake. Uh, shake the devil out. Shake, shake, shake. Shake the devil out. Shake, shake, shake. Uh, shake the devil out. Glory, hallelujah. Shake the devil out. Okay. Mm, I'm trying to take it off at the wrong spot. Nikki girl, what he do? Floor Zoo, I didn't say your name. I don't even remember saying no Z. Then we're going to let it pop. Let it, let it pop. Nigga, let it pop. Let it, let it pop. Ooh, 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 ooh. Girl, it went all the way to the tizzy. To the top, to the top, to the top, and don't stop. All right, so what am I making? I'm making my cornbread for my, so this is my drink for tonight. This is called the catch is catch can. Now, let me, whatever you got, hook it up. Now. Ooh. Ooh. Um, hey. I'm making my cornbread for my, what do you call that shit? Dressing. Okay, y'all, I want to make this quick, Real Housewives of Potomac stock. I don't know where this came from. Probably, I don't know what I was listening to. Um, but Square Business, right? Square Business, right? I have rethought the way I felt about the fight. The way I feel about the fight. No, I don't mean stuffing. Oh, you're not cooking? Who are you watching? I know you ain't watching none of my enemies. <laughs> hey, no, they don't cook. Them two niggas can't cook. All right. Um, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, so that's one. Oh, I didn't know it was no flour. But shit, ain't your mama telling you put flour in the cornbread? I'm like, what? Three tablespoons of sugar. I'm rethinking my, my stance on the fight. Let me tell you something. I was listening to somebody earlier just talking about the sense of, you know, to me, I think I've come to the to a point where yes, a lot of it sometimes it don't take it don't take nothing for folks to be ready to set you off. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yes, Desi. Uh-huh. I'm going to get some music in a minute. Wait till the DJ get back. He had to make a run. Um, uh, you know, at some point, I just was thinking about a mug talking. And you just put your whole way of life into jeopardy because you want to fight them because they was just talking. You know, a lot of us, you know, we grew up in times where, you know, that's what it was. You know what I'm saying? You ran your mouth, you get stuck in it. You know what I'm saying? I get it. You get stuck in your mouth, stuck in your mouth, stuck in your mouth, okay? But, yeah, it's still open from that. That clapper girl still open from last year. Oh, 2022, we rolling. Is you rolling? Is you rolling? Is you rolling? Is you rolling? Girl, you get stuck. Girl, you get okay. Be in a while. You keep that. Um. Oh, girl, I needed some cornbread that was just add water and some maybe some milk and an egg. It's too much. Okay. Okay, what's going on? Um, and I was thinking, you know, motherfuckers hit you. I mean, they talking shit. Is that really worth 
like jeopardizing your family? Like, is it really, did you really just have to hit her? Me, I can't do no talking back and forth. Can I rose? Can I Joan? I can. Um, do can I do it for a long time? No. <laughs> Don't wish to can't. Okay. So, how do you get out of it? You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, that's that's a real like these are real questions. So I'm I'm really rethinking. I'm not hating Monique. I, I'm not with her ostracization, but I rethought it and I do feel like the stomping of Candace, which was the stomping. Um, bitch! Okay, I thought that shit about to fall all the way out the kitchen. I mean, out this the thing. The stomping of Candace was not. Uh, do I drink again? I ain't never stopped drinking. I just don't drink as much. Ain't no unnamed, unfaced it, but unfaced it to y'all, okay? Bitch talk about me and make me feel like I got to stop drinking. No, but I, I don't drink as much now. Show sure ain't. Add milk. One egg. And um oh shit. This motherfucking shit getting on my nerves. Only when I make her, and I, I'm in a good mood, I don't feel like the attitude. I asked her, she said she ain't, she don't want her no parts in there, and I'm all, I'm moving. You know what I'm saying? I'm moving, moving on with what I got to do. Damn, this funky ass egg didn't want to crack. Damn, it's my egg white on the outside. God dog. Ain't that some shit? Mm, 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 mm. Uh, okay, milk, egg, one. But when I was her age, I was asleep too. Shit, or in the, no, I was in the street. I was, you know, <laughs> out back that thing. Like, you look fine. I'm looking fast. Yeah, 19. I hadn't had her yet. Yeah, I was in the strizzy. Okay, one fourth cup. Oh damn, I gotta get the cups out. I don't think I got no one fourth cup. That's a half. Brooklyn broke the other. Not not Brooklyn, but the. What you call that stuff? The dishwasher, I'm gonna say the washing machine. Hold on, let me go look outside real quick. I never heard no police over here like that. Uh, I wonder if this gonna be another another uh, dressing, another cornbread. So anyway, um, 
I have thought about that. And I was like, you know, that was, it wasn't necessary, but I don't think that she should be ostracized. Talking about Monique. I really don't. Um, I have not changed my stance on Ashley's part in it. I feel like, if you know, this is what Ashley and Monique do. They both do this type of stuff. They do little hateful, nasty things to each other, and we just sit back and watch. I mean, who are we to sit up and be like, oh, you know, this, that, and the other? Like, I, I ain't feeling no kind of way. I ain't no way to talk about none of it. Like that, that's part of the that's part of the thing. You and me don't like each other. We do roast each other online. We do little fuck shit, and 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 and, and it is a payback. Oh, I don't know. This is one of them wraps from, um, you know, that you get and it says like a head tie and it's in a little plastic bag at the, at the whatchamacallit. Girl, I'm country, okay? Listen, I got in the shower and my little press went up. So I was like, oh, let me put something on my head then real quick. It's like in between pressed and nappy, not even curly. So I'm going to try to get my curls together tomorrow. But not tonight. <laughs> such a rush. I just raised up while it was slowing down. It was shit all over here. I was like, God, dog. All right. So that's the way that I feel about the, the girls and the bullshit that went on. Okay. Eight inch square pair. Yeah, this wasn't enough. God, dog. Who wants to fight? Oh, girl, you can tell Brooklyn will watch this shit. It ain't right. At all. Ugh, I'm glad we're the one over here trying to fix something. God, dog. Yeah, me all the way in there, chat. I'll be like, girl, I'll be ready to try to get her own kitchen so she can see how I feel. So be embarrassed by her type of wash dishwasher. Okay. All right, so what's the other topic of discussion? I had a couple things I want to talk to y'all about, so I'll, I'll figure it out as I, um, as I go. Sure. What was the little saying that I said as I so, as I do so desire? Is that what my new saying is? As I do so desire. I like that. Am I doing too much? Is it nothing to like? <laughs> it ain't about nothing. Hold on. I'll just make another one, Cheryl. Sure. Let's see what Andrew talking about. Also, I had a fight my freshman year of college and almost got arrested, but a black police officer pulled me to the side and told me that when I turned 18 that I was growing and needed to move different. Um, it's some people that you can't put your hands on. Everybody not taking an L and a fight as an adult. 
can either lead you in jail or dead, change my life forever. Yeah, that's right. I think I was just talking, I don't know, I might have been talking to production about it. No, I was talking to somebody else. Oh, who was I talking, where would I be at that I was talking to somebody else? At, at, uh, at the second job, somewhere. Yeah, folks don't be wanting to fight no more, they want to get a gun. Oh, I know who I was talking to, yeah. They want to get guns. They don't want to. Um, they don't want to fight no more. Everybody too punk. You know what I'm saying? Like um, the other day when we were doing the yard production, was like I'm surprised all these houses over here ain't no kids over here cutting grass. What? Kids cutting grass. These punk ass kids. That's exactly what I said. These punk ass kids. Mm -mm. Okay, let me see what Martha White said because I don't like this flower in my damn. I don't like no flower in my damn. Um, this don't seem right. See, that's that auntie mama. That's that white folks stuff. Um, golden cornbread. They they got flower in this one too. Mm 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 mm. Okay. We're gonna do. We're gonna mix the cornbread, Martha. In Jemima, we're gonna see who told this, okay? Two large eggs, one and a half cup of Martha White. Okay, so yeah, we're talking about how folks just be trying to shoot now. I'm like, child, what happened to a good old tussle? Shoot, I think the last tussle I had was that time. That me and my homegirl fought each other at church. That's the last time, I think. What happened to that good old tussle? No, oh, yeah, no, no. We didn't actually fight when she came here because she came here a couple years ago and we was about to fight. And Brooklyn broke it up. Girl, she, you know, you know when you when you the younger of the friends and, and somebody just won't let you be grown though? That's what that is. And they from New Orleans, and they just think I'm from New Orleans, honey. This, that, and the other. And, you know, we can't get fucked up. You know what I'm saying? I was like, child, nigga, please. Fucked up, you can't get. Um, From anywhere, really. Um, God, all of these eggs ain't bad, huh? I'm trying to use all the eggs according to date. I can use the old ones first, so that's old and, and used. Old and used. <laughs> um, and then what? I need one more egg. Damn, why I throw that away? Oh, I didn't. I did get it over there. And so, yeah, you really gotta watch that. My whole point about changing my stance is, you know, was it really, you know, that's something that just that at our age, that the way we look at stuff, because see, at 19 is the same way I, I was thinking about it earlier. You're doing too much, you're doing all this, you're trying to shine, and we're gonna see who diamond shot the brightest. You know what I'm saying? So, all white flower. That's how I feel about that. I feel like it shouldn't have been done. But I don't feel like, girl, what y'all think about uh, Karen sitting up there and telling them folks that she wasn't going to buy Monique and Infant to turn around and invite her? Um, I don't know how I feel about that. Like, I do feel that it's wrong to say you're going to do one thing and then don't do it. But then y'all were never letting Karen talk. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, it was y'all's way of the highway. And at Karen's party, it's Karen's way. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's what Karen said. Or Karen Field. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like maybe she told them that just to say, shut up. Okay. Woo -woo. But like I said, when it came to it being her party, it was her party. Okay. 
A sugar. Did I put, yeah, I did put some sugar in here. One fourth cup of sugar. Damn, how much sugar did I put in the other one? Three tablespoons. Uh uh, I'm not putting no one fourth a cup. It's three tablespoons. It might be one fourth a cup. We're just gonna put a little sugar in here. my friend exactly like y'all everywhere we go they got to do with what y'all been playing and stuff like that i'm like okay girl whatever woo, woo, woo. but when i thought about it and i realized this, you know and i had to reiterate to myself this is my party bitch it is what it is that when she left them they're like karen what's the here she was like in i'm out i've rented the place have your have your way with it i'm we're out you know like do what you're here to do, but we're we're out. We're done. I've I've I've, I've uh, finished with everything that I I uh all my goals here. <laughs> Y'all, I'm just saying, like, let's just keep it all the way funky. Okay, now hold up. Oh, girl, I'm just screwing this and screwing this, and this is not right. Okay. I'm like, I guess my my milk just ain't gonna have no top. But anyway. Oh, this one don't call for this shit. This damn. Yeah, it don't call for that damn um, powder. Powder, powder. So I'm not gonna be mad about that now. Uh, I'm all the way here for Karen about that hat. Like real good. I'm glad that I ain't got to we said read the comments. Hold on. What we're talking about a real housewives, Tommy, come on through. No, you didn't say this girl. Let me tell you something, busy blue. Now you didn't you didn't court it my people over to your page, okay? And I have allowed it because you're my brother and I love you. I've been loved you for years, okay? But then you're so big in yourself, you come talking shit tonight. But thank you for coming bearing gifts, though. I really appreciate it. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Now, I was with Karen looking at the little funky hat and be like, bitch, I'm glad I ain't in there so you don't have no expectations of me, okay? Oh, you don't have no expectations of me to be anywhere near this funky hat. Next. I said, come on. Come on. I am not mad at you. Can we get into the dominatrix thing? What in the hell did Karen have on? Y'all supposed to be in there. Y'all supposed to be in there looking sexy and powerful and a little scary, mysterious. Girl, she, I don't know what she, she was in between Dominatrix and Alexis Kobe Dexter. Now, wasn't she? <laughs> hey, Eric. I know that's right. Happy Thanksgiving. And happy Thanksgiving to everybody in the chat, too. 
It was so tacky, Karen. I would not have invited her to my event. Tacky of her what? What she had on? I didn't expect Karen to get it at all. Did y'all expect Karen to come in here really looking good? Well, nobody else really looking good. The only one else that looked dominatrix was Giselle. Girl, finally Giselle got some clothes right. <laughs> going and the way you know folks been treating her particularly when it pertains to Monique um and I believe like when they say well, where's the place that you like to be touched at the most in your body and here goes and here's um here's Karen my vagina I feel like Karen just offers like little things to catch some quick attention for herself so she can say she performed okay because I don't think that Karen is really here for, you know, the shit. I really don't. I do not think that Karen is really um, here for it. <laughs> Honestly, I think that she's just doing, if it ain't on her actual, on her actual, um, you know, parts where it's about her. And she's just gonna play her little bit of a role of a role and and go on with it. What y'all got? I really do get that from here. Hold on. Oh, okay. I was like, what did Karen do? <laughs> I was late. I was lost. Like, what did Karen do? What What did Karen do? Okay, we are making the cornbread now for the dressing, not the stuffing. Okay, baby girls and boys. We are Southern over here and we make, we are Black and Southern and we make dressing. Okay. Dressing. We don't open no bird's booty hole and put the dressing in and then call it stuffing because we stuff the bird's booty. No. Yes, yes. Get into it, yes. Ooh, shit, this shit already rising up. I don't even know how long I didn't have this in. Who was talking when I was... uh? I think who was talking? How long I had this in? Okay, Busy Blue came in 1237. That's seven minutes ago. It is start raining again. Yeah. Okay, got the, about three more minutes. Okay. I put the giblets, that no gizzards. First lady is a child. Okay, look. Oh, somebody get Jay Mello. Uh, I just parked my car in the first lady parts where the ushers have let me in after the prayer, and I'm walking down the aisle to the mother section. <laughs> I can't stand you. So, is Busy still in here? Because you know he was calling my semi review that ain't even a review ghetto. <laughs> um, but no, um. Me and this damn turkey been going through, and it better be unthawed. Hold up. That was weird how that went down and how they make the sound. Okay. Uh -huh. Clean out this container, this sink compartment where I have that turkey. <laughs> oh shit. Girl, cleaner be having me choking nowadays. I can't take no cleaner. Oh shit.
Okay. Hold on, y'all. I gotta clean this uh the sink out. <coughs> so <coughs> shit. Lights off. So everybody's dominatrix comp uh constant was a fool to me, okay? Everybody. Oh shit. Choke it. But girl, when Ashley told Candace that what she had done is in regards to money, Candace crying. Girl, Candace and all this crying about this fight. That is embarrassment, y'all. That is simple, pure D and simple embarrassment. That's all it is. And it's crazy. That is embarrassment. She ain't worried about what that girl gonna do because she know both of them neither, neither one of she knows she probably the least of the one going to jail. Okay? So she ain't nervous about what could happen to herself. No. She is pure D certified embarrassed. And I can't say I blame her. But all this crying is is is, is this crying is just, I can't stomach it, you know? All this crying about it, girl, please get over that. Quickly and in a hurry, quick, fast, and in a hurry. You would bad enough to run your You should have been embarrassed about how you acted right before it. But now you're embarrassed because you got your wig split. I think it's ready right now. I ain't never heard nothing about with no vinegar. Okay. What kind of pies you make? I don't make no pies. Busy Blue ain't in here. Where he at? He was in here. Um, what y'all think about that? That Candace is really just going crazy. She's letting this mentally eat her up because Candace thinks that she is the biz naive. And her getting jacked up on camera, and she just cannot mentally take it. And I, well, let me go, let me, let me look at this there. Stuff real quick, because I can smell it. She cannot mentally take it. Oh, yes. Come on, brown. When I say brown, you say not brown, it's the brown. It's not in the round, the round is not in the round. The round is trying to brown. It's your turn now. The cornbread is brown. Ooh, bitch. Oh, I hate uh I hate a damn glass one. That thing always eating it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Okay, this should definitely be enough. Trying to get it, loosen it up so I don't keep cooking. That should definitely be enough for my little crew. So, oh girl really started crying and she was like, I can't believe that you're gonna do something like this. And this is really something that is bothering me and I'm very nervous about how the turnout is gonna be. And I'm just like, girl, are you serious? How you start saying we are friends? Yes, now that's the part that like when Ashley started off talking about that. We're friends. I'm just letting you know. You know, be like, nah, Candace gets on my nerves. That's why I midway start watching the see. Yeah, Candace gets on my nerves too. Definitely, Eric. Um. Oh shit! I didn't finish the damn water coming up. So, oh. yeah, that, that turkey ready, boo. She ready, hey. <laughs> she ready, <laughs> she ready, hey. Okay. Um, I really feel as though, um, I 
really feel as though, girl, I cannot take Robin, Robin or Giselle. Like they literally are sitting up like that was Ashley. I couldn't believe that it made it till that night. Cause I thought for sure they were gonna tell um, Candace before them. But Robin and Giselle are just doing way too much. It's like she's trying to tell it, then they jumping in, then she's like kind of answering their question, kind of trying to finish what she's saying. And it's like this ain't even your story to be in the middle of. And Wendy. Now, Wendy, I thought you had got it from like the last two episodes where you was like kind of sitting up to the side. You weren't about, you know, you were being new, like we keep trying to tell you. But here you go with this. Oh, that's character assassination. I was like, okay. Um, even though that you could have had that thought just like the other girls did, I think that they talked to you about it. And y'all and y'all wanted to be saying the same thing so that it resonated to the viewers even more so. Y'all's thought process on everything. Wendy, mind your goddamn business, bitch. Okay? I'm sick of her talking. I'm sick of her talking. I'm sick of her opinion. She too new to be doing all that talking that she's doing. And that pontificate, you know, girl, I hear next episode, you're going to be like, I don't know if I really want to be a what's call You've been saying that since the first episode. Can we get to that, Wendy? Because I don't want to hear no more of you getting nobody, these, these old bitches business. When you knew and having nothing to say and trying to tell somebody what they need to do. Girl, if you would get out this business a little bit, maybe you can figure out what your next move is. Instead of just talking about it, talking about it, because I almost started to believe it ain't true. Honestly, hold on, y'all, I'm coming back. I'm almost starting to believe that, it, that this is this is fakery, and you really ain't thinking about none of this stuff you're saying you're thinking about. Just something to talk about, and I don't, you know, I don't do too kindly with that. But that was the comic for me. Oh, girl, and then Ray and Karen. Girl, like, he is so dry. And I believe that she is making sure she don't drink because she knows she'd be getting too loose when she's drinking. I'm not that at her. Like, that's responsible. You know what I'm saying? Like, that ain't even nothing to clown. Do y'all think that's something to clown? Like, what is that to clown? Oh, I know where I can put y'all at while I'm washing dishes, huh? What in the world is that to clown? Okay. But she did that because she's trying to up, uphold this so-called Mother Teresa role that her, her and Michael have planned after she had the child. See, would you review Chase in Atlanta? No. I have no interest in that. And I'm going to stop doing this other shit that I'm not interested in because y'all know I don't like Potomac either. But Wendy is her friend, so of course she's going to say that. Everything Wendy said to Ashley was a big fetch. How, how, much, how much friend is Wendy when Wendy went and told everything that um, that Candace had briefed her on before Wendy even got good, in, in contact with the girls? So y'all can miss me with that. Wendy is uh, Candace's friend. Mm -mm. Remember how she went and ran back to Giselle and them, everything that Candace had said about them? Girl. Mm -mm. Wendy be speaking strategically, okay, and getting all that bullshit started, getting in the middle of that bullshit strategically. DC, are you drunk, baby? Because you really worry about motherfuckers being drunk, okay? If you're not drunk I mean, I, and you want to be, you should do that, okay? Now, you've been acting up before, you acting up now, in my opinion.
Monique, wait, where those shoes? Giselle is getting clapped the reunion. <laughs> sure. For yeah, e email me like what kind of person is or not, so I can pick out that precise type of jewelry. That's what all the women in my family getting this this um this uh Christmas, except for my mom. I'm gonna do something for my mom. They getting jewelry. I need it. You ain't seen me drunk, honey, at all. Not earlier and not right now. But if I wanted to get drunk as, I've, as I have in the past, I'll do it. So, oh, it's for you. Okay, cool. Okay, sure. I still don't know what you would like. <laughs> but yeah, I'll pick out some stuff. Uh. Andrew, for somebody who be uh having shifts on other folks' channel talking about the goddamn Potomac, you sure ain't talking too much. Now, Andrew, I'm still teasing you about this, but I'm not really tripping, okay? I'm not tripping. And Monique. Not Monique. And for what's the name? Oh, for Candace. You know, I was thinking Candace was more like a mummy. That's why I don't share friends at all. Because um, I like my bona fides. <laughs> and y'all won't watch the shit I like. Like, my favorite Real house Housewives is New York. Those girls I like. You know, I'm not reading too much. <laughs> mm. I ain't thinking about yourself. Good for her. Um, yeah, because my people like to watch it. I, I'm like, look, y'all, we got to stop watching just black stuff. The Housewives of New York, they, they got the money. They do stuff. They real friends. And they do try for that shit for real, too. Like, friends for 30-something years. Yes, Mimi, like, the only one. What about it? I talked about that yesterday. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Now, y'all, when I be talking about shit, y'all got to go and make your comment on the replay. We talked about that yesterday. You're watching BNY with Ebony. Oh, you're watching Ronnie with Ebony K. Williams? See, I don't know nothing about that lady, so I'm not just so excited to see her. Like, I don't... I wanted to see my regular girl, but we'll see how she fits here. It seems boring. Ooh. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. I need to put y'all on mute real quick.
Oh, you doing a Tito's? Talking about what she does in the community. I have to go look at it. Girl, I thank you. <laughs> I have to go look at those then so I can get ready. So they should be coming up. Well, they usually film during the holidays. So they should be coming up in the spring. All right, what's next? Because we done ran in Potomac and the whole thing that's going on in Potomac. Ooh, much of y'all be going on and on about Potomac. What is that? Oh, that green. Oh, like, what is that? That green, uh, my cutting board is green. Ooh, let me check on the damn. Ain't nobody say shit about the damn, what you call it, did y'all, you know? Please don't let it be burnt. Please don't let it be burnt. It's not burnt. It's really burnt. Let me check both of these. That's good. That mark of white is that slave ass shit. I'm telling you, that topping is, is uh, crispy and I ain't mad at it. Yes. That's that old school. Y'all remember how cakes, if you ever like ate a cake from somebody who was born in like the 20s, have y'all? I did when I was a kid. And um, we already did Aunt Viv and them last night. Well, you was here last night. And I haven't watched the Chappelle stuff. Oh, yeah. um, I'm not doing my regular ham because it's not I'm, it's not a big gathering. It's just four people. So we're not going over to the family's house this year. So it's not a big gathering. So I didn't make my big picnic ham. I'm going to make a little small ham. It's pretty, well, no, that's, this one ain't pretty cooked. It's still raw. But it's supposed to be spiral or something. And I, you know, I can't stand on spiral ham, but that's the only one I could get that was small. I couldn't get a picnic hot ham that was small. So I'm gonna still make it the same way. Mm-hmm, I sure am. DC, you better be glad I ain't got no moderators right now. Cause I know Mimi would have been blocked your ass. But um, yeah, um, Viv, I, I talked about that yesterday. What else popping out? What else going on? I'm damn sure I want to talk about no Will Smith two days in a row. Um, I'm about to start my uh, yeah, this this little bit, of, this little corner of dishes was taking a long time because I had made a pot pie. You know, that's my quick thing for dinner. Uh, a pot pie the day before yesterday, and this little pot pie is sticky. I don't want to. I don't want to go nowhere. Oh, give me a minute, y'all.
So many no sense. This shit still ain't came. My damn clothes I bought offline. That is crazy as hell. A dish towel. Uh-uh, you messed with sponge. The sponges keep, keep the, the bacteria and stuff in. I don't mess with the sponges. Mm-mm. I got a dish towel. And look nasty. And folks don't ever want to put them in the washing machine and clean them up. Mm-mm. They want to use them until they just little pieces of something start breaking up and stuff. Uh, 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 Caldwell, Andrew, which one? Do the brown, the dark one? <laughs> but that ain't the way you spell the dark one's name. I heard about it and I went over there and looked a little bit. I see he got a new spot. Um, but I did think that the, um, I, I watched a little bit of it. I did think, oh my God. It was um, too much soap up in there. Exactly. Who from the north? Okay. Let me wipe some of these counters down. treasure <laughs> yeah it was too much soap oh that's what she said up north so you let it go oh your friend from up from Virginia said this child to get up mm -mm. I don't even, I don't even like, I ain't talking about no tradition with no northerners. Y'all do y'all and I'm going to do me. i see if I can learn something, if I want to do something off y'all, but you ain't going to make me feel nothing bad about mine. <laughs> but I'm going to try to make you feel bad about yours. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Did you, so everybody mad about the Grammys? Girl, that's what I want to talk about. That body, yada, 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 all that. The performances be boring. Can anybody, anybody feel me on that? Do Megan's performances be boring to y'all? They do to me. They be hell boring to me. Yes, do the beat bump? Does the song be bumping? Yes, but the performances be boring. Saturday Night Live, I saw one. And now this AMA one. Boring. Ooh. Boring. And I feel like only folks who are looking for a new dance routine. No, I ain't gonna say only. I won't speak it absolutely. Mostly those looking for a new dance routine and trying to be popping on Instagram is the only one that be um uh Going up for her, like, or thinking that she's all exciting and stuff. She's boring the way she talks. Her eyes is all droopy and boring, and all of her, um, all of her mute, all of her dances is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, and two, and three, and it ain't no smoothness in none of it. It's like she she's sitting over there with Beyonce. Remember when Beyonce? said that her dad used to have them run and sing so they could perform and sing at the same time, be still singing really well. That's what Beyonce need to do with um, Megan. Cause Megan be dancing or singing. She don't be dancing and singing. Okay, from what I've seen of her. And to me that's boring. The song don't have to be perfect when you live. Need to be good, dog. Yeah. 
Yeah. No, J. Mello. Well, I can't believe you told Andrew that you didn't tell me that. J. Mello, I think you just be liking the girls that, that is so-called popping. You be liking the girls that be doing way too much with the littlest. And the girls who are all into themselves and stuff a lot. So, see, so you a quad lover. Who else do you really love? Monique. Who else you be laughing? Oh no, baby, ain't shit about heavenly. Not a damn thing. Ooh, heavenly. Ooh. So y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all, and I told y'all this already, but I know that y'all still has. I am not reviewing marriage and medicine unless Mariah is in it. I am not. I'm not interested in them old miserable bitches that finally feel like they went in life, the funny looking ones, and trying to oust. And don't have no forgiveness trying to tell you about being a woman and how to do something. You don't have no forgiveness for whatever Mariah may have done, if anything. I ain't into that, y'all. No, we hate on Claudia because she's a mess. And because and we don't hate on her because we don't want to be nothing like her. But we dog quad quad and we get her together because she is a uh a client. She's a puppet doll and a fugazi. She want to get put on so bad. She married that nigga that she didn't even really care about. She tried to make herself like him. Dog um, didn't like really try to work that shit out between her and Mariah, which is her friend that put her on. Just because you're sure of yourself don't mean you're likable. But I can tell you that. Okay, let me get this shit going with this crust real quick. If it would not been for Mariah, let her into her family and they acted brand new for Bravo, that's why we don't care for Miss Frog. Come on. I, we can't tell. You said it after we asked you about it. What well, what's going on with Tiny Mama Kick? What you know would be a good show, Miss Lucy, Mama Joyce at the own show. I thought the moments was gonna do something. She is, child. I thought a couple years ago the mamas was gonna do something.
Oh, y'all yeah, gotta get this crust recipe real quick. Hold on. Damn, if I had it up now, I can't find it. There it is, boom. Come on. Get this flower again. Y'all talking about? Oh, my feet hurt so bad. Oh, girl, this lady came into the job at the last minute. Who liked Giselle and Rob? I ain't seen them. They told you about it because they ain't told me. <laughs> they must have told you because they damn sure ain't told me, girl. Okay, I don't know who like Robin up in here. And Giselle, child. If you do, go ahead. We ain't gonna judge you out, out loud. Oh, I just have to say, don't trip. Oh, I'm my brown sugar. You think Robin without Giselle? even like say she's okay she's such a trash type of person it don't matter she's smart she's like dookie dookie on a stick dookie on a stick like her she doesn't seem like she has any of the morals that she professes that she has she ain't good for nothing but to get a key key i don't know how she's okay I ain't even getting nothing from her as a mother. Not saying that she's not a good mother. I'm just saying I'm not getting anything from her. Okay. 
flour, brown sugar, one stick of butter. Y'all seen that meme where it said black people don't put the time in, they just keep hitting one, they keep hitting 30 minutes until uh, they get to where they want to be. <laughs> Okay, I got to keep down. Okay. Y'all, so that's the that's the flour crust that I have going now, and now I need to get the uh, because you can make it with a flour crust, you can make it with sugar cookies or whatever kind of cookie dough you want to make or any pie filling, you know. But I like to make my my crust by hand. It's called cherries in the snow, and you, or you can put cake up under it. You ain't gonna get me with no cake. Yes. Somebody got a recipe channel called the Food Hussy, y'all. The Food Hussy, okay. Have y'all heard of that? The food hussy? Okay, so now I'm about to get these crab crackers and I'm gonna bust them up. Y'all, is honey made good? I don't think I get honey made when I pick them out. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna go, let me take some of them out real quick. Take the crackers. I'm gonna bust them up a little bit on my own. And I don't do mine real brown or real fine. You kind of got to on this.
I want to say hi to everyone. Oh, what up? Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know you Shade you. Huh? Oh, no, not you. They, they shade each other. That's what, I mean. what is that to my right? Oh, it's my, um, it's a green cutting board. And, and since I have green screen, green screen capabilities here, it's doing that shit. What's up? Are you doing the green screen now? No. <laughs> You want to say hi? Let's say hi. Or Mimi say hi. Hi, Mimi. <laughs> I figure if I look over here, then that means you'll look towards the camera. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I make I made my cornbread for the dressing, and then I'm I finish it tomorrow. And then I'm uh, I'm making my dessert now. <laughs> and then I'm done for the evening to get me some good sleep. Hmm? I said, I'm done for the evening. I'm giving some good sleep. Mm -hmm. What you uh, what you bring over here? Just your uh, your wheel. Oh. What was that square thing? Oh, that was the base the wheel sits on. Right. That was the base. The it was a big square thing that hit the wall. Is that a no? That's pedals. Oh, I didn't, I didn't see it all. It was just a big bajumbo of stuff. <laughs> it was a big bajumbo of stuff. So this is kind of like what I'm getting. I, don't, I ain't tripping about some of these being small, some being powder, some being big, because I'm going to, um, I'm also going to, um, what you call this stuff? I'm going to crumble the flour crust up too. I never even heard Black Parade and it's up for the song of the year. What is that? Child, we can talk about the Grammy nomination. I, I've been hearing people bitching about them, but check this out. Y'all, wasn't no good music this year. We, I mean, did nobody even come up with no pandemic theme? Like, did y'all hear a pandemic theme at all? Somebody should have came up with a pandemic theme. Anderson Pack Lockdown. Anderson Pack Lockdown? Huh, I'm not to listen to that. Uh, okay, did they come up with election music? They need to come up with election music. And I just ain't hearing nobody came up with. Wait, you said what? Public Enemy Fight Power 2020. Oh, they came out with another one? Yep. Trap. You talking to the DJ. Hey, DJ, play that song. All night. Oh, little, little baby's big picture. I don't know. But look. I'm someone that be on Instagram enough and in the know enough that I should have heard some of this shit if it was really the biz naive. Exactly. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, you're not on social media. You know the stuff. 
But how did you get to know it? Uh, it's because of your algorithms in other places, right? Or your your connection with your music friends, right? Um. Mm -hmm. So XM Radio. Yeah, but that's only been for a couple months. That ain't easy, but it's, 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 it's. Oh man. I need to get a house. Oh, that's, that's good information. Why, wow, you brought some more shit in? That's what vacuums are for. These are the vacuums of <laughs> I think it's gonna be like that. Oh, it'll be until the snow come down. And then you track in snow. Everybody be well, not me. A rug in the oh yeah. I need to get a rug at the door. I've been saying that, but I don't know what what colors I'm looking for. You said what? I said it's gonna get brown in the first It came out at the end of 2018, so it didn't make 2019 nominated. What is that? But I thought for sure summer walk summer would be nominated this year. They not they president did not win. That's why the niggas are in the uproar. Why you were not picked by God, black folks? Come on, work with me now. Bless you. Oh, girl, this is too much. This is the part I don't like. Shit like dog food. I forgot that's how you get it done quicker. All due respect, let me know what music. Because when music is anthemic and bomb, the masses know about it. I believe I'm one of the masses. I'm not disconnected. I might be a little older and might not be interested, but I'm, I have a 19 year old and my boyfriend is a DJ or and listen to all kind of music. I'd be like, what is this? Okay. And I ain't heard shit. So it's not like I'm in the boonies. Uh, not in your car, I don't. Whoa. Somebody's a contrarian tonight. <laughs> yes, I think because we are consumers, it does not matter but I have played many sports and I know for me, if I knew I worked my ass off, I would be mad too, yeah. Sweet Scrub, we named some songs that talked about current events. Okay, hold on. I think I saw everything. Yeah, I saw that. Girl, I don't barely know. You 30, Andrew? I don't really know no Summer Walker now. She was dating London on the track, right? Girl, I'm going to be talking about niggas I've seen on the shade room. I don't know who these little kids are. And she had like a little mental conniption at some point, right?
London on the track don't look like no nigga I'll be trying to date. I don't like them pretty ass niggas, them pretty skinny ass niggas. I don't like that. Ugh. In London, was that nigga that nigga's real name? Now it's one thing if that's his real name, but if he picked that as a stage name, get the fuck out of here. I don't want nothing to do with you. London on the track. Nigga, I wish. But these kids is different. Cause I remember when Brooklyn was liking all them mop heads, them ones with all them dreads hanging in their faces. So like, ugh, just have nerve to come over here. I'd be like, no, son, don't come to nobody house looking like that. At least put them back, you know. Put them. I ain't telling that. I told her that they don't need to be coming over here looking like that. Yeah, at least put them back at your face. You know, you come to meet grown folks so somebody can see you. I only like "Do It, Do It" by Chloe and Halle, but I do like those sisters. They're cool. Didn't listen to Kelly Rowland's song. I remember it came out. Not listening to JoJo. Jade Nova. Who is that? That's a mixed girl, ain't it? I think I've heard her song. Tony Braxton. Girl, what did Tony Braxton come on? And Lettuce can Girl, what did Lettuce have, girl? You know? What, what's the name of Lettuce's song? Man, we're going to play Lettuce's song. Girl, we can do Lettuce. Oh, they were talking about the weekend at the work. They, at work, they were mad that he didn't get no nominations. And they, he was up saying that he was upset too. I was like, dang. Yeah, they were talking about that part at work. London on the track. Get the fuck out of here. The Wild Card is Lettuce's new album. Okay, I will be checking it out. Wait, Flora Zool says, see, you do not be around like you claim. <laughs> I might not, shit. I, I be thinking I am. I be thinking I'm really like in the groove, okay? Y'all never said nothing about Meg Thee Stallion's performances being born, because they born, okay? I know, I know that already. I mean, listen to about three of the songs, I mean, got this disturbed and disgusted and went on about my business, but I'm wrong, I don't get into that. I don't think, that shit, she be talking about what she doing to niggas and stuff like that. I, I don't know, I mean, she should have hit me up when she should have been around when I was 26, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to hear all that. And I don't think half of it's true. <laughs> So, I don't know. But, you know, I do like a little dance to body yada yada, but the performance when I watched it was boring. I was bored out of my mind. I was like, this is boring. Because, like I said, she won't, I was telling them, uh, babe, that she don't sing and dance. She dances or she sings. <laughs> and that makes it boring to me. And for her to be part of Rock Nation, I remember when I was younger and Beyonce, you know, me and Beyonce about the same age. She's a year behind me. She, uh, two years behind me. She, uh, well, that's the lie they tell them, but she's a year behind me. But anyway, she um, said her daddy used to have her and Desi Child running and singing at the same time so that they could perform and sing at the same time. And I'm like, well, why you ain't got Megan doing that? Because Megan can't sing and dance at the same, or can't rap and dance at the same time. And it's just boring. And then the dance steps, they'd be cool, but the dance steps is broke up. Like, if you watch um, Beyonce, it's a fluidness to her dance steps that, oh, girl, don't be having. Not, not saying that she got to be Beyonce. I'm just saying Beyonce is a great performer. So you, and then you part of her team or you in the business with her some kind of way, whatever they, you know, whatever, with her husband, you would think that you would be asking or she would be giving you um, some hints. But I don't know. I be trying to like Meg, y'all, because Brooklyn likes her so much, but I, I, I don't know. It, I just don't think we have nothing in common. Like, she don't do nothing for me. 
And Cardi B need to come out with another, like, something like, I like it like that. That was so fun to me, that song, with her little lyrics and stuff. And when she came on that music uh, award show, had the bikes and was just clowning. You know what I'm saying? I just thought she had a, I thought she had a good vibe at that time. Okay, Jade Nova is a, oh, I know who you're talking about. Jade Nova was the girl who used to do Beyonce impersonation, didn't she? Jay Nova used to do Beyonce impersonation on Facebook way back in the day, didn't she? And she got that deep voice. Is that is that who y'all talking about? Yeah, I knew it. It's like I've seen that name before. Oh, I want to go listen to her music then because I just took her as like a um, media comment. Oh, yeah. Come on, Jay. Hey, hey. Come on. Come on, Jay. Hey, hey. She used to have me wrong. Like, this girl sound just like freaking Beyonce. <laughs> Has she ever tried to sing like Beyonce? Or she just been talking? Because I've only, I've only ever seen her talking. She's dope. Okay, I'm gonna have to check her out. So Legacy and Jade Nova. That's what I'll take from this conversation. Uh, what else are we talking about? <laughs> Y'all heard that Trump then uh won one of his um cases in Georgia. They said one out of 38. Yay. <laughs> I was hollering, I said, whoo chef. These folks have me rolling. So you didn't took 38 L's and you're trying to go on and on and on about one, one W. So I'm pressing the, this is flour, flour, uh, what the hell, brown sugar and butter. Supposed to be a little salt, but I did use salted butter, didn't I? Oh, it's unsalted butter, god dang it. Okay, hold on, let me put this back in here so I'll put a little salt in here. Okay, sure. Make sure I got this right. No, it ain't no salt. She talking about different ways to do it. I was like, girl, get away from me talking about some banana. You're supposed to do it with your hand. That's where you get it to be a little thinner and, and get more flatter. Huh? What you talking about? <laughs> B7 is phenomenal. Who is that? Do you know who B7 is? B7. Oh, B7. What is B7? I'm sorry, child. What y'all talking about? <laughs> is that some kind of Beyonce um, album? So I did half without the nuts, and this half I'm going to do with a couple nuts. Well, he don't do nuts, but we do.
So I did two sticks of butter, a cup and a half of flour. Um, the butter I did go ahead and let it be, um, whoa, I ain't really got no space, huh? I did take the butter and um, melt it down the liquid in the microwave. I did a fourth a cup of brown sugar. Probably should have did some more brown sugar since I added the, no, the graham cracker crust is enough. Um, and then two sleeves of graham cracker graham crackers and y'all saw me take the cup and you know start demolishing those so that it can uh ground down into you know be finer the chunks can and now after you put the 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 butter in there i'm tripping after you put the butter in there you should be able to lay it down in the pan and mash it down with your hand into like a little crust. And then we'll bake it, let it, you know, dry up and bake together. And while it's baking, we'll finish the, um, we'll, we'll start the topping. So we can go ahead and finish this on out tonight. Yeah. So no, tomorrow's a lot of new shit going on and I ain't got time to be playing with this stuff right here. You got faith in me, babe? Absolutely. <laughs> yes, I am 41 years old. I never made a turkey. I've made turkey pieces, but not a whole turkey. So it's gonna be new horizons tomorrow. I never made dressing. And I don't like making sweet potatoes, but we're gonna go, we're gonna go in and watch. Okay. This is actually a cookie. Probably if we put some more sugar in it, it'd be more of a cookie. It might not be all that sugary. Boop. Hey, Priscilla. Okay. So we're going to put this in here until it browns. Probably about 20 minutes. Hallelujah. Yeah. I don't like stuff in my hand and under my nails. I had to do a quick little wash off. I'm, I'm making my famous cherries and snow that I make every year. Christmas. So, well, so, most time it's Christmas. But this year, since I'm not going over to my mama and them's house, and I didn't feel like making no cake because it'd be hit and miss with cakes with me. I'm not a baker. And I didn't want to be over here with no whack cake. I probably hint, hint, getting talked about. I had to stick with what I knew. You know, I made some really good German chocolate. Y'all know every, every Thanksgiving I make German chocolate? I said, that's too much. I don't got time to keep playing with that. All right, every year it got worse and worse. Oh, yeah. You said you like the Jasmine Sullivan to sing joyful music. That's like everybody was saying they wish Mary sang joyful music. Mary came off that juice and started trying to say, let's get it crunk, even though that wasn't hit amongst everybody. Y'all cannot tell me that she did not sound different off that juice. I remember everybody was talking about it. The music was quite different, and we did have to tame our ear to it, you know? So I say, Jasmine, 
do what you do, girl, because you know I love me some Jasmine Sullivan. And she's so cute. She took a picture on Instagram and her staff is 50 that day. I was like, girl, I just got the same thing. Same color and everything. Ooh. I like Jazzy. Jazzy. Wait, they say Gladys. <laughs> Don't 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 do if I can get out the beef, be oh, shit, that water was hot. If I can get out the beef sector of, of YouTube, I can see a lot of life. <laughs> I can't help it. Well, see more life on social media, I guess. <laughs> Yes, that's why you didn't hear about all of this awesome music and missed it in the background. I agree with you. No, he's agreeing with y'all. I said he'd be in a contrarian. <laughs> Breakthrough is Mary J. Blige's best work today. Breakthrough. What song is that? <laughs> Brooklyn, Brooklyn still lives here. She go to college, but she lives here. So she home right now. Been home. Mm -hmm. Get all this damn cream cheese off of here. All right, so the filling is cream cheese, sugar, powdered sugar, vanilla. Let me see what else. Let me close my bag. It's just sitting up open. No milk. Oh no, gosh. Not using that one. I know you don't put no milk in this shit. How long this crust been in here? I don't even have time. Hold on one second. Damn it, I should have waited till this damn crust was done and cooled. Ooh, I get on my own nerves.
Okay, good night, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. Yes, happy thank you. Cherry is my snow. You're so silly. Oh. Um, what's up, other side? So, now I'm going to combine, which I probably should have waited to, have, to start that part till after that. I'm trying to move too fast. I'm about to mess some this. I'm like, hold up, chill out, chill out. Chill out, chill out. Hi, girl. I don't know how my mom and them used to be up all night cooking. Well, they didn't go. No, I think some years she did go to work probably in the morning on Wednesday and got off half day. Still looking. Girl, can you believe this turkey? 13 pounds was six dollars. And I was telling my mom, I was like, that's crazy that this turkey is six dollars and ham be 40. A ham, you know, a good ham, not that spiral ham, that motherfucking nasty ass uh honey baked ham. Oh, they be making me mad at work. They'll get it the night before and then go put it in the freezer and then or in the refrigerator and then don't even heat it up. And be having cold slabs of ham up there. We got a honey baked ham, girl. It's cold and nasty though. But it is what it is. But can y'all believe that that turkey, that thirteen pound turkey was um oh last week, this week actually, um six dollars and one cent, and a whole ham. And, and I'm thinking because you know you th most you know we be saying that to eat better food costs more. And I was like, dang, I thought this turkey was gonna be like $25. But no, but I should have thought about it because I didn't bought plenty of turkey pieces. It's pretty cheap. Poultry is cheap. Well, not all poultry, but common poultry. So I don't know if duck is, is poultry though. I don't know. Um. So I was totally like, what? Okay, girl, have a happy Thanksgiving. Why did Holly Berry check Lisa Ray? What happened? Yeah, my nephew just got him. He's getting, you know, this is his senior year, so he's getting accepted into colleges and stuff. Now, please tell me how you just started playing football this year during COVID. And you think that the University of uh, 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 University of Nebraska is going to give you a scholarship? Child, I'll just be listening to these cheering because they're not going to fucking worry me. You know what I'm saying? They're not. And then they got and told you what's up and what to do. You know? Well, I can still see if they'll come out. Yeah, baby, go on the call. Oh, shit, I don't give a fuck. You know, go on the call. You never know. They might come, shit. You got something to show when they get there, though, because maybe you just start playing football. And the last time you played football, well, you was in Oklahoma, which was like four or five years ago. So do you, I said, you got any tape? No, I ain't got no tape. I want to run some plays and stuff when they get you. I was like, boy, get the fuck out. Okay. Yo, know man, like, because they don't listen. They don't listen. Yeah, Brooklyn's the first grandbaby. And then he's exactly two years behind her. And I said, I can't be, I'm not going back and forth about this college shit. You bitches is just going to college. I haven't been to college twice. And I'm trying to tell you how to do it for the lowest, for the low, low. Y'all don't want to listen. Fuck it. I mean, I have it. Brooklyn just coming around. I was just like, I was like, so what they going to come to see? Well, I'm going to run some play. I said, did you talk to your coach? Maybe your coach will get them to come. 
No, I ain't did that. I'm gonna call my mom. Bye. Get off my phone. So I was like, where where is the, the local college? You live in Detroit. I know they got some good colleges in the you know, some you know, reputable colleges you wouldn't be ashamed to go to in Detroit. What what it do? Oh, I got accepted to them too. I said, well, what are we talking about Nebraska for? Out of state tuition. Did they give you any academic scholarship? No. They just said I was accepted. Did you call the financial aid office? Yes. They giving me um loans and maybe a Pell Grant. How much does it cover? And we did the math. Oh, about 33%. I said, where are you going to get the other 67%? I know you can only get um $5,500 the first year and, and loans for the Brooklyn is in my first year. So how are you going to pay for it? I don't know. That's why I said I was going to have the coach come up. All right. How are you going to AT or TT, what does this mean? They said this, sending me the screenshots. I'm looking up like, child, I don't know what this shit they talking about like this damn. <laughs> this kid, listen, baby, I typed my shit on a typewriter, okay? <laughs> and then I got my first email when I went to college. When I went to college, I got email. Now they emailing you your results. And they telling you to go to this link and that that link and this you, you, you can set up this firewall child. I don't uh 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 you need to go to your counselor. <laughs> Shit. I don't know. But what does this mean and how long is it? I was like, listen, I know they speak in English. So read it to me. So he was reading it to me. And we figured it out. But I was just like, child. Where is your mammy and your daddy? I said, you know what ten dollars is right here. Like, yeah. I said, so you know what ten dollars is. Okay. Um, ten dollars are. You know what ten dollars are, right? Yes. Okay. So you get a scholarship for a dollar fifty, right? How much you still? How much you still owe if the school costs ten dollars? Eight fifty, TT. Okay, where are you gonna get the eight fifty from? All right, now you got some loans. They give you five dollars in loans, but you got a loan. But they give you five dollars. So how much money do you have? Six fifty. All right, six fifty from ten. That's three dollars fifty cents. We gonna get the three dollars fifty cent from? Okay. Ooh, shit. Oh no. I was like, did you do what you needed to do to get into a out of state college that costs twenty thousand dollars a semester? I don't know. That's why I don't know. Oh, he kept going back to, to the football coach. But girl, this boy, this is Nebraska. He was like, it's D1. I know I can get in. Yeah, you got in D1 because you got the academics. But do you have the 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 prowess as a as an athletic scholar, you just start playing. You just start playing football two months ago for the high school girl. I remember I started playing softball in tenth grade for the high school. I didn't do it in ninth grade because I was like, I'm a freshman. I'm trying to figure out how everything goes. Da, 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 you know all that mess. Baby, not playing, okay, I played eighth grade and not coming straight in as freshman, baby. They didn't try to see me. They did not, I had to work my butt off. They were not trying to see me at all. Like, girl, we don't know you. And still didn't know me all the way through senior year. Like, I still played. I had, I got time. I had play time. But they weren't trying to give me no scholarship. I got the, now, I guess that's kind of why he's saying it. I got the scholarship. I had the people come look at me on, my, on their own. But that's because I was already had an academic full scholarship to OSU. So when I got the academic full scholarship, I was like, and I want to really want to play softball. So the, that lady talked to the softball coach and that's how they came to see me. I only played football my senior year and I got a D1 scholarship for football. Okay, you got a, a D1 scholarship. What was the D, what was the D1 school? 
And how much did they pay for all of it? And was it out of state? Cause we want to We want him to draw back zero dollars that he owes. Th th that's all I'm saying. I'm not saying it's not possible, but but whatever you're trying to seek out and do, did you? Uh, and see, he shit. He's six six as well. Six six four six five. That's what he is. Um, can, did 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 you end up paying some money? Okay, that's what I want to know. And congratulations. Just, just tell me if you, ended, if you ended up paying some money in the end. And that's not like a, I told you so. It's just me really asking you. Did you end up paying money? Size 15 shoe. I ended up running track. I didn't want to play football. Um, but I asked, did the money, did they see, did they give you a full ride or did they pay you some money in the red shirt? Because that's what I was telling him. I was like, now you probably could red shirt. You did. You might be able to red shirt. Um, but how much are they paying red shirts? And then are you going to get paid the whole four years? And then for your degree, can you really be doing two a days and shit like that and going on all these trips and stuff like that? Because what they do, just like at my school, they started so many little black boys as engineers and stuff like that. They was in class with me first day of school. First semester, they was out. Out. Because them coaches was like, baby, if you're trying to play football, honey, you're not going to be doing you're gonna be able to do all this uh work that is required of an engineer point blank and period so that's how that happened for a lot of black guys that i went to college with okay well i'm gonna tell them what you said I'm gonna tell him what you said, and we're gonna try to see if, if that can happen for him. Only took out loans because he wanted extra money. <laughs> Mm -hmm. He first generation over there with his daddy's side too. Yeah, he's first generation. Um, thing about it is though, um, I just want him to do the best he can, but not be in a bunch of debt, you know, and get whatever experience he wants. But like I said, I've been talking to you about this stuff for a long time. And it wasn't until last year when your mama threatened to fuck you up. Did you start getting your um your grades back in order? Because he's always had really good grades. But last year, we had to like yoke him up because he was bullshitting.
So he got he yoked, he got yoked up and he changed his ways. We were out here getting all these um getting all these um acceptances and he didn't get no scholarship. And I'm like, are you writing the are you writing the um are you doing the scholarships? No. Well fuck it then nigga. My mama wouldn't let me leave the house senior year. Every Saturday, senior year, I told y'all this several times. Senior year, my mom told me right before we started school, she said, every every um every weekend before you can step foot out of the house with your homegirls and step foot in any club or wherever y'all think y'all be going, I want two scholarships completed. Not, oh, I'm doing this part, or oh, I still got to get a re uh, recommendation letter for this person and that person. None of that. None of that. Get your ass, and I want to be, I want it to be like mail ready for us to put it right into the um, post office, for me to look it over and put it right into the post office. And I'm telling you, every weekend until about February, because by that time, you know, all the recruiters that came out and told you, you know, um, the academic recruiters and stuff like that, too. Yeah, we want you and da 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 da. So by February, we already knew. February, we already knew what school I was going to, how much they was going to give me, and how much money I was going to get, you know, back in the end. You know what I'm saying? And, um, when it was all said and done, my mom did not play with me. When it's all said and done, with the academic scholarship that I ended up taking at OSU, I came up with $1.8 billion in scholarships. Now, of course, I couldn't take all of them because some of them were for this type of stuff or this type of woo, 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 woo. But, buddy, baby, I was applying for every living thing. Do you hear me? I've told that story to Brooklyn many times. And she did apply to several scholarships, but it wasn't uh, it wasn't like that. So, and I know he ain't, cause his daddy ain't staying on top of him about shit. But it's it's very much possible. I've told this story several times before, and other people have come on and said they did you know the same thing or a little bit more or just a little bit less than what I was saying that their kid got so and so many dollars in scholarships and then they go. So it is very much something that can happen. You just have to put your mind to it that you're not gonna let these kids talk you out of it, prong you out of it, car you out of it, I'm working you out of it. I'm working. Because I was working too. It's too much. I don't know what they're looking for out of it. You know, all that shit like that. You gotta stay on that ass. But they also gotta be working with something to even, you know, put down on the paper. You know what I'm saying? Is that a record? Uh, I don't know. I'm sure the way that my school is, because my school don't play about the academics. My my high school, well, with the ones that they that they see are academically inclined, they really push. So I'm sure somebody has beaten uh, my record by then. I mean, it's over 20 years, 22 years ago. I'm sure somebody beat my record by now because. There was a Hispanic dude who was up there with me when we did the um, when they did the tally, and we were within like tens of thousand dollars away from each other. I wonder what he's doing. He was real quiet. We didn't know much about him. Um, yeah, I got his name somewhere in my senior book, but he uh, we were just tens of thousand dollars away from each other. So if it was like that in 98, I'm sure somebody came through with some more shit, especially with this, you can text in a scholarship mess. You know what I'm saying? Like a text. I'll tell Brooklyn stop doing the text one. Because everybody's doing it. And probably some kind of robo bullshit anyway.
And it seemed like only the tough, tough schools are requiring the um, essays very much. Yes, our valedictorian had a 4.5 GPA. $1.8 million in scholarship. If any of y'all know who Quani is on here, don't Quani sound like Gladys? So now we're gonna break up this crust, cuz. Okay. We're gonna break this cup crust right on up, cuz. Love of the board. See, it came out like a cookie, like an ill shaped cookie. And I just do mine in big chunks. I don't like it to be all in damn near dust. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I need to let this cool. Okay. Let me let this shit cool. I might need to get a smaller pan too. That looks like it might be too big. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break that crust up. Oh, I guess I can make this. So the cream cheese has the, the vanilla, the cream cheese. Let me get the rest of this together. And you go back, so you put the cream cheese in first and you start your Blender, not blender, whatever this mess is. Mixer. Mm -hmm. I heard it's supposed to rain all weekend. Y'all hear the rain? And it still ain't gonna keep people in the house. So I'm gonna mix, start mixing this up. This is just vanilla and the thing is. Remember, do not raise this thing until it stops. I've had a horrible experience. Okay. Um, then oh, so you have to get your cool wit. Not cool wit, cool wit. Come on, you gotta talk like you're from Dallas. Cool wit. Cool. It's cool, man. It's cool. You get an eight ounce, but since I'm doing doubling mine. Okay, I got two. 
So you go from a little bit of Cool Whip, a little bit of a little bit of powdered sugar, a little bit of Cool Whip, a little bit of powdered sugar, a little bit of Cool Whip, a little bit. Of, uh, 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 okay. Um, where's the powdered sugar? Now, nigga, didn't I just bring the powdered sugar out of here? And I lost it. It's cute up in there. Okay, so what the the recipe calls for two um two cups here it is. But like I said, I'm doubling my recipe. Who uh Kwani's hilarious? Yeah, Kwani is hilarious until she started doing that the diabolical talking, like killing babies and choking niggas out till they eyeballs hang from the head. Now I did like I did tell y'all last night, I did tell this nigga I'll eat his dog's um eyeballs because you know you don't sick no motherfucking dog on me. You know what I'm <laughs> Shit. I'm gonna kill this dog, and then I eat his eyeball. Since you thought you thought your dog was good, better than me, but I wasn't gonna eat no eyeball. But I don't even know where that came from, though. <laughs> I was enraged. <laughs> Woo, shit! You go. You know you ain't gonna have no dog in this damn building, and you gonna sick him on me. I'm gonna fuck your dog off. Yo, <laughs> shit! It ain't gonna be no running and stuff. You know, I'm from the country, you know how many times I have been bit by a dog, scratched by a dog, had a fight with dogs, girl, boy, nigga, please. My sister, I remember she had kept fucking with this dog that was in the neighborhood, kept messing with it, messing with it. One day was going out my home, grab your kid's birthday, I mean, um, yes, her birthday party. And the dog name was Cousin, it was a Doberman Pinscher, it was black, and it was owned by this Italian and, um, uh, what you call that shit? Polish couple that you know that was around. They were older than my mom and them. They were my grandparents, like age. And we were just walking and walking and walking, and that dog had been waiting on my motherfucking sister and jumped over the damn um the hedge from the backyard over there and bit bit her right on her booty. And do you know that nigga had two two pair of underwears on that day, two pair of panties. Like girl, did you know <laughs> you must have been waiting on that dog? <laughs> You knew you had been fucking with a dog. Did you laugh, baby? No. Oh. You had to be. You knew that dog was gonna get you one day, so she was wearing her. She probably was wearing double underwear every day. I had to fight that dog too.
this is cool. So I feel like, I don't know, y'all. I feel like this is enough. I don't know what the hell happened. Do I, do I, be, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what had happened. But I did see something on a, a YouTube video about this. That this lady says she lets hers cool overnight and then puts her cherries on. So y'all remember how most years I'm over here, I done took this white over that crust and then I try to put the spread the cherries and then it's like pink looking. I'm not gonna do that this year. you start in you have to keep going in the same direction um i think it it has something to do with the um uh density of the cake i just remember being a little girl my mama always saying stop going back and forth just do it one way <laughs> so you're gonna mess with the cake doing that i'm gonna have to look that up or you can i'm just gonna do it because she makes awesome cakes My sister can cook too. I wonder what she's doing for Thanksgiving. <laughs> Oh, I'm hilarious. Thank you. So, I think now I'm just going to bid y'all adieu, a fond adieu, and wait a couple, about 30 minutes to let that cool, that, that crust cool. And I'm going to break it up, like I said, and then I'm going to spread that white all over it and put it in the freezer and let that freeze. And then I'm going to put the cherries on top of it tomorrow so that I don't mix the white and the cherries and it be looking all crazy. The presentation is definitely important. Definitely. Yeah, I think tomorrow be smelling real good. Like the cornbread smelled really good earlier today. And then this really doesn't have like a lot of smell to it because it's not a baked good except the, the crust part. But we gonna see. So remember, like I said, y'all be safe and have fun with your, your family and friends. I'll come on tomorrow real quickly. Just give you some Thanksgiving love, and we're going to go from there and see what y'all cooking. Y'all see what I'm cooking, and we're going to go from there. Thank y'all for watching me. Bye.